Hello everyone, this is Bamadele from Deliver Studios. You're welcome to another episode of Android Programming. We'll be looking at the Instagram integration with the Android application. Uh, we want to see how we can fuse into our Android app with the Instagram APIs available. So our Instagram has captured a lot of eyeballs after it got acquired by Facebook. And Instagram is also growing its user base and getting more popular day by day. So integration, integrating Instagram sharing in your app can give you a lot of leverage. Now for easy integration, Instagram provides quite rich API. Now the APIs that Instagram provides include to get all media files uploaded by user on Instagram, to view, like, and comment for the media file, to get followers and following, no, and to get user information. Our Instagram does not provide API to upload image, to add follower, or to follow someone. And ETC, some other functionalities too were not included in the Instagram API. No. I particularly, we're going to be creating an app which will be fetching all the Instagram photos of a user and also getting the followers and following lists. So uh, for us to do that, uh, I'm going to go straight to register our application in the Instagram developer. So you, you, you check on this URL, the Instagram.com slash developer. I'm right there on your screen. Once you navigate or uh, you visit this particular address, you get this uh, interface in which you have to register as a developer, which I've done. And uh, we're going to register the application. So I'm going to click on the register your application application. Uh, so now we need to register a new client okay my application name instagram integration uh the description let just give a short description integrating Instagram into an Android application. Company name Leroy Studios. The URL. Okay, let me see. www. Leroy channel okay contact email I'm gonna put my contact email YK there's a catcher to fill which says there's Changes. Okay. Click on my register. A name, valid name. Okay. Let me let me let me put it this way. And put knife in. And make it all lowercase. Okay. We direct URIs, let me pick on the same. Okay. And now I need to fill this 268 register. Okay, I'm still having issues with my name. Okay, let me call. Let me let me put Android integration. Okay, one nine seven. A lot of validation. All right, uh, that's successful. Android integration, probably because I was using um the Instagram keyword, probably. 
there's a reserve keyword for them okay now for my application i will need some particular uh fields that you're right seeing on your screen i'll need the client id the client secret and the redirect uri okay okay as i've said earlier we need a client id client secrets and the redirect uri so let's move to my uh, android studio where i've been developing the application i would like to show you a high level um, overview of how the application should be uh, in the application data java class uh, i need my client id the secret and the callback url so i'll just go back to my interface you have to create this yourself so that you have full customization on your application i move back i have to paste it in here okay uh, i don't think there's a slash there okay let's move back the secret copy it move back so and the callback URL move back into it we redirect URI it's the callback URL okay HTTP okay and something of signature okay that's fine um i will take a rundown on the major java classes for this application we have the instagram dialogue class uh this is going to be like the pop-up when you click on the icon or on the button created uh on the layout it's going to have a dimension landscape of 460 by 260 with an height and the portrait should be 280 by 420 in the sense whereby uh, we have a slant view uh android screen view for the uh the portrait uh the margin is for the padding is two and there's an instagram dialogue um, class that calls on the super class and calls on the url assign the url um, field and the m listener we have the uncreate method uh that set the message loading when uh, you click on that's going to be a rolling icon a GIF animation that keeps saying loading so the, this calls on the, the display scares the window the window manager and the default display methods and also it's going to get the height and the width of the various um, dimension you mentioned the portrait and the landscape okay uh, we have a method called the set up title which is going to set the text color the typeface the background color and also assign the padding and add the view we have the set up web view yes that's going to be a sort of web view uh load which is going to set vertical scroll bar enabled the horizontal scroll bar enabled uh it's going to load the url and also add the view to my view uh variable uh um the OO authentication web view client uh will be done to authenticate the client that logs in afterwards uh the page started method two will be called to load the page to the super uh class which is the parent class and also the page finished uh method two be called after the page might have loaded completely uh let's look at the instagram app class which is uh which is used to store instagram user session information by calling the api as we have to call the api this is the instagram call api uh in which we have the authority url and the token url the api url which is from instagram uh this is going to tag on the, the 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 profile picture these are the fields very needed the username website and so on okay there is an instagram app um 
method that holds on to the context, the string, which is the client ID, the client secrets, and the callback URL. Okay, a lot of um, assigning to different the variables have been done over here, you know, and even in the M token URL, when the token URL it concatenates the, um, the client ID, which is going to be a question which it can change definitely. And the M authority URL too that concatenates the client ID and the redirect URI. We have a listener which is a dialogue listener. And the access token, or these are the core of uh, Instagram APIs, you know, the fetch username fetches the username of um, the user that logs in, and also an handler to take care of the thread uh, processing. Okay, uh, let's leave that for now and let's take a high level look at. Um, the Instagram session class while the session has been established there is going to be an Instagram reference the API username the API ID and the API name which was used in the course of the uh, login this is, this is called a session and the session is being opened for each user okay uh, afterwards uh, we're gonna look at the fetching user data uh, let's 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 look at the main activity which is uh the default activity of the application it sets uh, it implements the on click listener you now where there's a button which actually do all the um, dialogue uh display of instagram and also um we're going to have the on create method which is going to call the layout uh, main layout and also we have the on success if there is a success in connecting to the uh, server you know and also you fetch the username okay all these are very very important in the course of the application we have the on click which are which i holds the button uh, connect and the button view info and the get all images because we're going to get images i'm going to get the info and we're going to get the followers you know the connect or disconnect user if you really want to disconnect or you want to do something else on your device you click on that button so the on click listener chunk of code is right shown over here okay uh i won't be going through all other java classes because they are quite enormous for the sake of this tutorial i will upload this source code to my github account for you to pick it up and get familiar with the functionalities needed and you can as well extend this uh, application you know in the course of building your own customized uh form of um android design okay i would like to run this at this moment for you to get a full glimpse of what the application really looks like. Okay, color my Jenny Motion Emulator, which is going to be at the port emulator. Yes, should have built successfully. Okay, it's still on the compile debug. Let's wait for the full build of the application so we could test. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick my journey motion.
Okay, there is the button on the layout. I'm gonna click on connect. Okay, this is the Instagram dialog with the loading uh, effects. Why right? it's connecting to the API and bringing a dialog box for the username and password. Uh, I may delay. Okay, I can log in. Do you want the browser to remember this password? Not now. Wonderful. Uh, this app is in a sandbox mode and can only authorize by sandbox users. I am the Lego Tugar, Android Education is requesting to do the following blah, 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 blah. Okay. I have to authorize this. We have the comment for photos and so on. So this is getting the access token at this moment. Wonderful. Uh, I'm going to call for all the images. I think I have up to three images or something. Network is fine, I guess so. Back. Let's view information. Okay. Uh, the profile info. I have 17 followers and 75 following me. Okay. Who are my followers? Oh, I keep saying check your network. I'm very sure it's because of my emulator. That's why um, there should be a network uh, issues. But I would like you to run this on your device. I've done that on my device. And uh, I, I really have everything fully working. So get up, my, get up the source code and get to use the application thank you very much for listening and don't forget to subscribe to my channel have a wonderful time and bye bye